Hello students, let's continue with the topic of Squares and Square Roots Today, we are going to discuss a new method to find out the square root of numbers That is, long division method When the numbers are large, even the method of finding square root by prime factorization becomes lengthy and difficult To overcome this problem, we use the long division method this method includes some steps. Take a look at the following steps. To find the square root of 529. Step 1. Place a bar over every pair of digits, starting from the digit at 1's place. Thus, we have. Step 2. Find the largest number, whose square is less than or equal to the number under the extreme left bar. Here 4 is the largest square number less than 5. That is 2 is the largest number whose square is less than 5. Here is the number 2 as divisor and quotient. Divide and get the remainder. Here the remainder is 1. Step 3. Bring down the numbers under the next bar to the right of the remainder. That is 29, in this case. Step 4. In order to determine the next divisor, double the quotient, leaving a blank space on its right. Step 5. To find the next digit of the divisor, think of the largest digit, which is also taken as the next digit, of the quotient such that, the product of the new divisor, and this new digit, is less than or equal to the new dividend. Here, 41 multiplied by 1, equals 41. 42 multiplied by 2, equals 84. 43 multiplied by 3 equals 129. So we choose the new digit as 3. Divide and get the reminder. Step 6. Since the remainder is 0 and no digits are left in the given number, Square root of 529 equals 23. Now consider square root of 4096. Step 1. Place a bar over every pair of digits starting from the digit at 1's place. Step 2. Find the largest square number, less than or equal, to the leftmost bar. Here 36 is the largest square number less than 40. That is 6 is the largest number whose square is less than 40. Here we take 6 as the quotient and 6 as the divisor. Now subtract 36 from 40 and get the reminder 4. Step 3. Bring down the number under the next bar, which is 96 to the right of the reminder. The new dividend is 496. Step 4. In order to determine the next divisor, double the quotient leaving a blank space on its right. Step 5. To find the next digit of the divisor, think of the largest digit which is also taken as the next digit of the quotient such that the product of the new divisor and this new digit is equal to or less than the new dividend.
Here we have 124, multiplied by 4, equal to 496, divide and get the remainder. Step 6. Since the remainder is 0, the square root of 4096 is 64. Let's have a quick recap. Today, we discussed the long division method, which includes some steps. Before winding up, here is an activity for you. Find the square root of 1296 by the long division method. That's all for now, see you all in the next class.